welcome back to the channel well uh what the video that you're gonna see now is actually shot uh last weekend today is april 20 26 because tomorrow is moline john's birthday 27th of april just so you know uh but anyways um the video you're about to watch is, is Jacob Senior Project. Um, I, I realized that uh, I was looking through the footage. I didn't do an intro, so now we're doing an intro. So it's a uh, little, I don't want to say a backstory, but tell more about it. it Jacob um, needed a senior project for his mechanical engineering degree. And I have I said, hey, make me a fancy splitting stand, would you? You know, um, you know something that's nice and safe and easy. So that's what he did. Um, he did the CAD drawing. He did all the engineering design. He can tell you all kinds of fancy specs that I, whatever, you know. I, I understand what he's talking about, but I, I couldn't tell you how to figure it out, how he got these numbers. But hey, that's why he went to college, right? So anyways, uh, it's all done or you know done enough for now for his senior project and actually yesterday was the what they called the showcase where um all the i don't say all the seniors but it, all the senior projects were displayed and they had uh um you know people coming in to critique them and you know uh advisory committee stuff uh for the for the college and you know we were invited because we were parents um so it, it was kind of neat to see other other people's well basically an invention or an improvement on an invention um like there's a kid that uh had a had a trolling motor that was uh our device for a trolling motor to keep a certain certain height you know uh all, all automatically um that was neat you know like i was telling some other kids there you know like hey this is actually something that somebody could use you know um but uh but anyways so i hope you guys enjoy the video uh jacob's going to be talking in quite a bit of this one so reveal of his it's a a, a minneapolis moline based or not, not so much based but it's to be used with minneapolis moline tractors but of course it could be adapted to any tractor um and like I say in the video, this is a prototype. Um, there, you know, with any prototype, there is improvements to make, and we've already already decided that we'd like to put a different a different brace from uh, the the cylinder that the stand. I should say the stand that actually holds up the front of the motor. Um, just put a little bit di different bracing on there. We've already got that figured out, and that will be done the next time uh, we go to split another tractor. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, you know, anybody has any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, like I say, this is a college kid's design and you know, I'm really, really proud of this kid. So, all right. Oh, and if I forget to, to mention it, this is patent pending. He is applying for a patent for this tractor. Okay, well, there's a big reveal for you. Uh, this is going to be, you're going to see this a few days, so probably about a week after this has actually happened. Today is uh, April 20th, but anyways, big reveal for Jacob's project got going on here. Some of this will be seen by others way before, but here's what he's been working on. It's a fully hydraulic splitting stand for the Minneapolis Moline tractors. So proud dad moment you know yes it's a prototype yes there's all kinds of improvements we he he could have made to this and will on the next one so anyways it's a prototype you want to take over go ahead all right this is the final test for my Ferris State Mechanical Engineering Capstone Project, my hydraulic tractor splitting stand. It is already mounted underneath. This is a Minneapolis Moline M670, weighs approximately 7,000 pounds, which is nowhere near the 20,000 20, pound capacity that the stand is rated for. Got 
Oh my god. Hey. Now it is tightened up and we can take out the last bolt. There. Now you have plenty of room to get inside to work on the clutch and the ample torque. And now we'll put it back together. All right, now we'll bring it back together. it's back together we do the last little bit with fine adjustment by turning the shafts in the flywheel and then use the bolts to draw the last of it in okay well that was uh some of the some of the footage you saw is what jacob is using for his uh uh final not final exam but you know how how they have to do a little presentation once they get their project done so all right, well, I don't know if this is enough for a whole video or not. If not, I'll add it with something else. But again, proud dad moment, you know. He, he engineered that all by himself. Um, actually, he did 99.99% of all the welding. Um, dad might have helped a little bit and uh, maybe consulted me a few times, but he did pretty much everything all by himself. So, super, super proud. So, all right. Well, Okay, well, I needed to do an outro for this video because I didn't think it was quite long enough. So, yes, the tractor split and stand did work. Um, does need a few improvements, not a big deal. Um, I don't know if you could tell in the video or not, but we didn't put all the bolts back in because I'm gonna have to split this tractor anyways to uh, work on the ample torque. And uh, full disclaimer too, uh, to get this thing back together, 
easier. We did take the clutch and pressure plate out of it. Just so you know, um, you know, full disclosure, you know, I try to try to be honest and everything, but you know, for that, for his video for YouTube, I thought, you know, it'd be easier to do that because the motor is still stuck. If the motor wasn't stuck, we'd be able to turn the flywheel over, you know, and help line up the, the um, you know, uh, splines on the input shaft and the PTO shaft. But with the motor being stuck still, um, that was, you know, uh, I hindered us from putting it back easier. So and then in the beginning, um, we did have to split it, uh, you know, with a little bit of a pry bar just to get, uh, you know, because the dowel pins were rusted, you know, in there um, just that little bit. But once we got that free and got it separated off the dowel pins, that thing, that thing works slick. So really, really proud. Uh, you know, his mother and I are very proud of him for doing what he did there he worked hard uh in the video we worked till nine o'clock uh that sunday night because he had to leave in the morning to take that back to college to get get it going so um nicholas was helping as well um when when we needed him but uh yeah looking this tractor over um while we're here yeah this manifold is 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 garbage um she's you know the guy said it only sat out for a couple of years or whatever but uh you know how that turns into something else so yeah this one's stuck stuck pretty good yet um like i was telling you uh i think it's number three cylinder has what it looks to be like a spider nest in there boogers and, and stuff so we'll need to i'm probably gonna end up taking the heads off and uh doing a little more inspection in there too um try to clean clean that stuff out um I haven't tried recently. Oh, uh, update also on my arm. Um, had an MRI at 10 o'clock at night, Thursday night, and then yesterday was Friday. Got the results. My my bicep is tore, but it's not. It's a partial tear. So I don't know what that means. Um, I know when I tore my other bicep, it was a complete tear, and they had to do surgery. So uh, I. I knew this one this one felt differently I knew it was tore but I didn't know how bad uh, because it hurt Oops, yeah the glare it hurt worse or hurts worse than the other one did um, which if that makes any sense to you for those who have done it um, but so I don't know I got a doctor's appointment on Monday and uh, we'll see how that goes if I have, to have surgery or not you know maybe they don't they don't do anything with a partial tear I don't know but I'll keep you updated on that. If I gotta have surgery, that's gonna hinder a few things. I may have to adapt the channel to more talking and more tours or something. Cause uh, right now, right now, I mean, I've been trying to change tires with help and uh, keep catching myself using my right arm. And it, it tells me when I'm doing something stupid. So, um, but anyways, I should be able to paint. I would think one armed, maybe uh you know we'll see but uh yesterday was 70 something degrees um had a track meet last night and i uh, had a delay because of lightning so that was always fun and then uh it poured and uh, people got wet and that's only about 25 30 miles straight south and you go outside here i could make dust so you know that's just how sometimes the, the rain patterns rain patterns get and i do have a new lens cap uh the ones that have the one i have on here is the old one the original one that had a little scuff in it luckily i kept that because i broke the other one but uh supposed to have a new one new one coming today so well that's the split stand and uh a uh, little overview of what's going on um today i'm actually supposed to be planting some corn with the oliver corn planter we'll see how that goes but uh, first, I have to go get something else that I acquired, but and again, it's not yellow That I know of at least so but hey when I get there or I'm a, I'll probably take you along But I don't know how much I'm gonna video of it um, But uh, yeah more more exciting gems and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this thing or not um, We'll see we'll see it was a good deal and uh, I know some people that maybe want it more than I do. So, all right. Well, 
I think we'll cut the video here um, this weekend. Also, though, sorry, um, I'm going to take the hydraulic unit off of this one, and we'll get it back outside and continue to wash it. Then we're going to start working on the rear end. So I, uh, we'll, we'll talk about those parts I had to order and the whole obsolete, no longer available parts that I found. So, But we'll get into that in a future video here shortly so that's something else i want to get taken care of before i lose if i lose use of this arm for you know a short time so hey enough babbling appreciate you watching um we're this the channel is it's growing and I, I appreciate you guys for watching and spreading the word you know like and subscribing and all that stuff but uh and all the all the comments uh i I, I get, you know, I have Facebook friends already that, you know, we were Facebook friends before the whole YouTube thing, you know, and people say, hey, I really enjoy that. You know, and these people are from all over the world. Um, so, and, uh, uh, yeah, like I say, I really, really appreciate all of you. So, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.